we're trying to do in schools right now is we're trying to promote and we're trying to get students to get better at critical thinking, problem solving, creative thinking, communicating, all of these things, right? These are our core competencies and coding encompasses every single one of those things. So it's one of these beautiful things that students can learn that really forces them into those things. It's getting stuck and figuring out how do I not give up and push through. It's being frustrated, but continuing to push on. When I am stuck or frustrated, wh what do I do? Where do I go? I talk to my neighbors. I pair a program. We work together. We talk through it. So communication has become excellent. Last year, um, I was one of the four sponsor teachers that partnered with the Microsoft Teals program. So four teachers partnered with the program, and we were the first four in Canada to partner with the program. And so I am still partnered with Microsoft, and it's excellent. So what happens is I'm, I'm a part of the program in the co-teach program. So I am not a trained computer science teacher. I'm actually a trained social studies and English teacher. So when I took this on, and I knew that I was going to be teaching all this techno technology stuff and then also coding, it was an overwhelming thing to think I have to learn this on my own. And when Teals, the Microsoft Philanthropies reached out and said to Canadian schools, specifically in BC, we have this opportunity where schools can join this program and in the co-teach, you partner with a bunch of different people in the community, you become a teaching team, and you all teach together and, and learn from each other and work together to be able to teach coding to students. Because in our district, we just do not have that many certified and trained computer science teachers, right? It's, it's, so this is a holistic, homegrown way to create computer science teachers. And in our school, it's worked and it's thrived. Last year, I partnered with them. Most of my volunteers worked at Microsoft, Electronic Arts, and SAP. There's four of them, two of them from EA, one from Microsoft, one from SAP. These are, these are computer scientists who work in the community, and they volunteer to be on a teaching team with me, and they volunteer, they usually come in once a week, and they, they rotate, so they're here every class in the morning yes. to help me teach computer science to my students. Okay. So last year, I, they, I taught them a lot about how to teach and how to be able to be up in front of a classroom, and they taught me how to code. And now this year, the roles have reversed where I'm doing all of the teaching, and now they're my TAs, and they help me out, and if I'm like teaching and I have questions, they're standing in the classroom, we, we co-teach together. Students ask them questions, they ask me questions, we share some of, um, we do some assessment stuff together and figure out what's the best way to really assess these students. And I ask them from their professional standpoint, what do you look for when you're working with different people? What really matters? Does it, does it matter if everything is absolutely perfect or does it matter that it runs and it works? So we've really worked together to create our coding and our computer science program here within the mini school. And what's great is I have, um, been able to create a course that we're going to offer to the entire school next year. Wow. We do not have a computer science course to offer to students at JO right now. Yeah. Only our mini school students get that and I am I'm a person who believes in equity and who thinks that everyone should have these these equal opportunities and this is the way the world's going and students need to learn this stuff. Um, or at least have the option, yeah. right? I went through all the motions, created the course, got it in the course handbook, and students are officially at JO able to take Introduction to Computer Programming next year. Next year. Yeah, so our whole school population is gonna have the opportunity, which is pretty amazing. Yep, so that's gonna be open to specifically the grade nine to 12, because um, in grade eights, the students go through the ADST rotation and they don't have the electives. What I really like is that within our mini school, because they take my class, we talk constantly about digital citizenship, digital use, what's going on in the world digitally today, what are the positives and negatives, and we really are critical about it. So I actually think um, the program gives them more insight into the dangers of technology and things like the health concerns based around technology as well as um, social concerns, right? Your social life, 
addiction to games, addiction to other things, your phone. And it, one great thing is that we talk about it all the time. And one of the things that we do, which is awesome, is when we go away on our field studies, we go away for three field studies a year for a week long, um, students don't bring their laptops. We just do total no technology. And they are also have a super limited use of their phones. And they have these weeks of, of this like freedom of technology and they really end up loving it. I think what's really important is right from the get-go, we need to be very clear about technology and very honest about technology. Um, you know, Scratch is a program that's designed for students who can even be like in grade two to, to do coding. Um, we have to be honest with them. We have to say this isn't a magical machine. Everything that works in this machine, a person has done. Yeah. And everything that goes behind all this, a person has done that. And y you really have to tell them that right from the get-go so that students understand that everything that we do is created by someone or by a company or by something. And it's good to just recognize that human aspect behind it because I think when we start moving forward and we think about the dangers of technology and now so much talking about data and people yeah. collecting data and all these different things. Well, we're aware just of how technology is created and made and programmed right from the start. And we can at least be more critical about our usage and thinking about our safety online. Like you're not gonna talk to little kids about people taking your data, but you can talk to them about, about um, you know, this isn't a magic machine. Someone has made this, someone has created this. Someone has put their hard work into it. Yeah.